instead of noticing objects or experiences, as they appear to you, emphasize instead that consciousness principle itself, that witnessing principle itself, that effortless awareness as it is. And let all things simply be the waves of and in this awareness, all this contained in that consciousness, that beingness, which is God. So you rest easy, you rest effortlessly in the acknowledgement the recognition of the consciousness, which is the holder and the creator of the entire realm of appearances or manifestation. Manifestation simply means expression or expressed. Pressed externally, expressed. And as we know, whatever you have impressed upon yourself will be expressed as your experience. Whatever through the feeling state has been impressed upon the subconscious or the causal will become expressed as your thoughts, reasoning, motivations, activities, and physical experiences. Yet at the root of all this is the ever-present witnessing principle of God that consciousness which equals that universality, the basic essence of all expression or appearance. Nothing thus is ever truly manifest in the heavy sense of the word. It simply means expressed, experiential. And even this consciousness appears on top of your truly original, stateless you. And everything that is expressed can only appear to that consciousness, which itself appears to something that has no knowledge of experiences. No notion of time, no sense of being. That reality prior to the sense of isness, that reality due to which consciousness can appear and be known, to whom from whom, which consciousness itself is an expression, a dynamic, intelligent expression of knowingness.
pay this knowingness, its due attention, worship it in a sense as if you are worshiping God, worshiping the consciousness as the all that isness, as the root of all that is, as the intelligent dynamic principle governing all that is, as that witnessing principle knowing all that is. You pay it its respect, your respect, by virtue of recognition, relaxed, open acknowledgement of the presence of that intelligent knowingness, which includes any appearance, any expressed experience. Emphasizing then the basis of this moment rather than the contents of this moment. Blending with the essence of this moment rather than the appearances within this moment. Merging into this moment itself rather than what is expressed because of it. And it's as simple as pausing your thoughts for just a couple seconds and acknowledging that sentient clarity of consciousness which remains, that witnessing principle that comes with a sense of beingness or isness and a sense of knowingness, perhaps even a sense of joy or delight or bliss. aliveness, and befriend this consciousness, the essence of this consciousness. So not so much the sense or feeling of over here, over there, or I am aware of this or that, but more so like a space. Awareness is much like the sky, although the sky is still an experience, so awareness is subtler, but it is similar in quality to the sky, open, present, clear, undisturbed, and right now it's present to you. Whether you are not, whether or not you are present to it is up to you. But right now God is present to you. That witnessing principle is witnessing your current activity, your current experience your current mental activity, whether or not you choose to return the favor of recognition, of answering the call of this moment, of each moment, is up to you. Doing so contains great benefit. By meditating upon the I am itself, allowing the consciousness to meditate on its own I amness, it begins to clarify itself, both in terms of purifying itself from its associations with content, leaving itself ever more empty, ever more pure, ever more original, ever more stainless like the sky. But it also clarifies itself in terms of understanding 
embodied experiential intuitive understanding or knowing of the nature and origin of this consciousness. Ultimately, the consciousness meditating on its own I amness will become like a mirror for that which is beyond consciousness and therefore incomprehensible by imagination to know itself in the face thereof. For in the presence of consciousness, especially clarified consciousness, the not consciousness reality, which is the source of the consciousness reality, can reflect upon itself in this mirror of consciousness beingness. This is only available when we turn our attention away from contents and appearances, and first of all, onto the substratum, root, basis, essence, hereness, the now itself, which equals consciousness isness. We want to allow meditation to be the natural resting of consciousness onto itself, clarifying itself by its own power of self-awareness self-recognition. And then over time, an even deeper, emptier reality that cannot be grasped, that is entirely without time or space or experiences, shall be revealed. As that which never changed, That's why we call it reality. For if it's real, it must be ever real. It cannot change form and still be called real, because where did it go in its prior form? Reality cannot disappear, which also means it never appeared. If something appears one day, or 10 years ago, or 10 billion years ago, it cannot be the reality. It can only be an expression or manifestation of this reality, a form of this reality. But reality itself must be changeless, ever without change. The mind is ever changing, even the consciousness is ever changing. Although ever present, it is ever changing. It is that dynamic, intelligent, witnessing principle that constantly changes shape. It evolves, since that is its duty on behalf of the Absolute, to explore all the possible expressions of knowledge that it can. So although consciousness is ever-present, it is also ever-dynamic. But that whence consciousness first appeared, and into which it shall again dissolve, is reality. The never changing. Emptier than formless awareness. Prior to the emanation called formless awareness. Absolute, ingraspable, qualityless beyondness. Beyondness is all there is. Anything else, a temporary appearance.
So notice consciousness and then rest in what's beyond consciousness. Peer beyond the substratum, which is knowingness itself. Before the sense of beingness arose, you were there, but not as anything knowable, not as anything that has form. That is your reality. Everything else is your illusion. Surrender to that. Be the consciousness and then surrender that sense of being to what was prior to it, which is here now too, because it never changes, it never assumes anything. Rest in that deep peace while staying subtly awake, subtly, vividly awake as no thing, reality, prior to being. Prior to the movement of consciousness. Awake in that profound peace, where the movements of this world never reach you, where even the fluctuations of consciousness itself, the presence of awareness itself, does not touch you. prior to the beginning of time. Free of all knowledge and memory. Reality like pure formless space, without even the quality of space. Simply reality undifferentiated, unexpressed, infinite, ingraspable, indescribable. Home, the home that never became anything, that never left itself. That home on top of which the consciousness and all of its appearances dance, yet never touch their source, which is you, the you that's more interior than your inner self, the you prior to the inner being, the you that watches even the consciousness, yet remains unaffected by it. absolute source, never mingles with anything.
because it cannot not be source. It cannot become manifest. It only allows for it. It enables it. But source itself never becomes what is known or seen. For how could it? The moment source becomes something, something no longer has a source, and the something would disappear. Something is a testament to source being nothing. That is, but being the source of all that can be. Take a deep breath. Breathe in absolute infinitude and breathe out consciousness. Yet remain as you are awake.